Praise God, Jesus. Bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You guys, I noticed on my video I did this morning, it cut the first part of it off and it started out with the word because. Okay. Um, let's do that again here. And you know what? Yep, 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 y'all. Yes, yes, yes. YouTube, uh, the bloop tube, is messing with everybody's stuff. They're messing with mine. It shows me 34 views and two thumbs ups. What happened? Somebody got shot. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray that they be okay in Jesus' name and that they're saved. Gas station. <laughs> Something went on. Anyways, um, please blood Jesus on them in Jesus' name. Everybody there. I don't know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna start this over. YouTube gave me 34 views and two thumbs up. That's what I see on the video. But then when I go into my YouTube studio on the Q&A video I just did, it gave me 146 thumbs up and a bunch of views and uh, something totally different. Then one of you girls in the video said, Kim, they gave you 196 likes with nine views. Do you see how it's all messed up on one video? So much confusion there, it ain't even funny, y'all. So, you know what? I don't even know. But I'm going to go ahead and answer this question again, okay? But before I do that, y'all, please write this down. Please write this down. We got the barn Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be giving you some world news and some Bible study. of what We're in Revelation 12 and 13 right now. We're going to do I'm doing it on YouTube for you. So, you need to go to YouTube. Yesterday's video started on Monday. Whatever we're going to be talking about. And you need to do the video. And then when I get home today, tonight, this evening, I'll do part two of Revelation 12 and 13. Keep up with it, okay? And then Friday after World News, which are going to tell you what the devil's doing. It's affecting you and your kids and your family and everybody. You need to know, okay? You need, I mean, this is in your face now, man. It's so in your face. And then um, Saturday at you're going to have to, we usually have the barn at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. It's fellowship night, movie night. You're going to have to, you're going to have to hear me, y'all. You're going to have to come in there at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because we're going to start the film at 8 o'clock sharp because Kelsey is sharing with us a live, in action, a live film on the, on the birth of Jesus. And the, it's a live play, not a film, it's a live play. And it'll be live while we're watching it. So it starts at 8 sharp. So um, you need to come in a half hour early to get logged in and get your prayer requests and all this stuff right now. 7.30 Saturday night. And then Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to give you the big shebang on what the devil is doing in, in your state. Everywhere. Okay? And it's the... Uh, closest I've seen thus far to implementing the mark of the beast. Okay? So, it's important that y'all come. I won't be talking about it on YouTube at all because they like to ban me and everything every time I say something. I ain't got to say nothing. They want to ban me. So, it'll be in the barn. Okay, how do you get to the barn? You got to write this down. You go to not we are. Listen carefully. You go to jesusdoers.com just jesusdoers.com look for the red barn you'll see it there's a link there bring you into the class now Saturdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the juniors ages 11 to 17 have their class in another room and you got to go to jesusdoers.com go to the higher learning page and your link will be there just bring your juniors on in there they're going to be starting on the armor this Saturday okay now to go back to answer your question, because I'm taking question and answers from you guys. Since I teach you, since the Lord chose me to teach you, and He chose you for me to teach, you want to, you and, and we're teaching your kids, some of you, you want to know, so you know, some of you say, I want to know more about you. Who you want to know about you? Who are you? Well, I'm okay, I'll be happy to tell you. I'm a child of God, that's who I am, but I'll be happy to answer some of your questions so you can know who I am. Uh, that you're, you know. You're, some of you are helping us financially. Um, you're really sticking in and putting your faith in me helping you. So I'd be happy to tell you about me, who I am. Okay, so I'm taking questions. 
So one of you, I forgot your name, asked me, how did I first realize what my calling was? I told you, it wasn't when I was with Jesus 19 and a half years ago. I know what he showed me. I seen it. I heard him. I didn't understand why he was telling me this, though. What was I? I didn't know how I was going to do anything about it. Why was my mom there? You know, go listen to the testimony. So, so for 16 more years, I didn't do nothing about it. I didn't know what to do, what I was doing anything for, you know. And my mother, I worshipped her. She's my mom. You know what I mean? She gave me birth. She like gave me life here. You know, that's it. You know, she was my God to me. She was. So I didn't realize uh, what my calling was until God took her home. And when He took her home, um, I lost more family, very close, all my family, close family members, my that I grew up with, my my uh, my blood. Yeah, and I had my husband and my grandkids and it's really about it really um but they couldn't feel that they there's nothing they could do to help me because when you deal with that kind of loss even though two of them was physical death the other three was like death it was death it was five deaths to me it was death it was it was death okay it was over what was that oh it was over y'all so um, my husband didn't know what to do. He just, he didn't know what to do. He just was there. You know, and I tell you guys that sometimes it's like Job. Job was going through so much uh, torture and torment that his friends didn't know what to do, but they were there. Sometimes you just have to be there, okay? You may not can say anything or do anything to fix the, the, the problem, but just being there sometimes helps. You understand that? So he was there, not knowing what to do. And I was striving and struggling to live, period. I just lost one of the, mo one of the most important people in my life, my mother. <laughs> you understand that? And um, so how did I come to know my calling? When he took her home. And when he allowed God, when he allowed all the, the, those doors in my family to shut down around me, boom, 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 all, you know, and I found myself like in a dark hole, not knowing how I was going to get through that one. And so I had to turn to God. I turned to God is the answer. I turned to God. Total surrender. I'm not talking about like some of these Christians do today. They say I'm a Christian and they go to church, but they don't obey the things God says and don't even care to. Don't even try to care. Don't even think about it. No, I think about it all the time. I think about anything God wants. God, how can I? I don't think about God. What can you do for me? I think about God. How can I please you? How can I please you? And I don't just sit there and ask it. I get in the Bible and search it. And it tells you how. Okay. So when I started really surrendering to God, he just, I, I just knew. I knew what this meant. I knew what that meant. I knew what this meant. Um, except for the one when I saw his muscles. He had some pretty stout muscles, man. I didn't know. I didn't even know that meant anything, really. I just know I saw them. And I thought, wow, Jesus is pretty fit. Man, he's been up there pumping some iron, man. In heaven. They got, they got weights in heaven, I guess. Because he was stout his arms was I didn't even know that had a meaning so about a year and a half after I was saved around 2021 early 2022 I heard him he just told me Kim when you saw my muscles and I heard him that's my strength you saw getting you through your grief and mourning it's not you it's my strength and I understood that very clear and then I started finding it in the Bible that his righteous right arm his strength you know this stuff <laughs> yeah so I knew when he took my mother home and I gave total surrender. That's when I knew. Okay. Now the rest of it, you, another person asked me, will you know your loved one in heaven? Absolutely. You'll know them as they are because like I told you, when I stepped through that veil, I knew who my mother was. Jesus was showing me 16 years in the future when he was taking my mother home. That's why she was there with him. But she was alive when this happened. He was showing me, Kim, you won't understand any of this until the day I bring your mother home. You will start under, because you're going to give your life to me. You will start understanding this. 
So she was there. I stepped through that black looking thing, that veil, and I knew who she was. I knew who she was to me here. I knew that was my mom. I just didn't know what, all I could think of was what in the world are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here, but you're back there. What are you doing here? You know, and it didn't, I didn't understand that, but I do now. I do now. So yes, you'll know your loved ones in heaven. And just like the Bible tells you, the whole, ho the whole host, the entire host of heaven is cheering you on. Who, you who, those of you that's walking with the Lord. So yeah, and they're, they, they're closer to you than you are to them because the veil is so thin, man. Um, to you, they seem so far away, so far away, but to them, you're right there. Okay. Just, just divided up by a thin veil. So, you know what? Don't go praying to and talking to your loved ones that's deceased. They don't hear you like that. But they are watching you. They know what you're doing. God God makes sure that they see and cheer you on. They're, they're praying for you, cheering you on in your walk with God. They're not over here talking to you and stuff like that. Please don't get confused. Okay? All right. I hope that answers your question. You guys, don't forget to write that down because this Saturday night is a big night in the barn. It's a, it's a Christmas special. Um, it's with Sight and Sound music, uh, Play. Kelsey paid $200 to get these plays right here. And they're, this one is live. Like, the ones we watched before are live, but they're recorded live plays. This one is live in action. It's about the birth of Jesus. So you want to bring your whole family. You want to bring your friends. You can invite your friends over and sit around. You pull your laptop out and listen, or hook it up to your TV. I don't know. But you want to come to this. It's probably about three hours long, but y'all, it's it, they got the real animals. It's one of the best plays I've ever seen, sight and sound. So this is a special gift, y'all, that we're giving to you. Okay, it ain't we're not the type of ministry that you guys are always giving us gifts, you know, as you're supposed to. I mean, the Bible tells you take care of your church, your preachers, and your teachers. Make sure we have what we need and our families, so we can do the work of the Lord. But it ain't just you guys always giving us gifts. We give you gifts too. You understand? So we're a real church and we're gifting this to you, but you got to be there. Bring your popcorn, bring a pizza, whatever, you know, cocoa, hot cocoa with marshmallows. I don't know. But, uh, it's this Saturday night at seven 30. You need to be in the room at seven between seven 30. We start at eight sharp, write that down and get to the website right now. When you hang up from here, okay, go to the, uh, Jesus Go to the right, the, top, the tab in the top right corner. Click on test page. You got your exams there. We give these exams the same exam every three months. Same exam every three months like bookwork. Sharp. Okay, it's critical. And the Bible commands you to do it. Examine yourself. See if you're found worthy to stand in front of God. The God Bible tells you, examine your life. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. You understand? So we help you do it. Okay, and you write the answers down in a notebook. Number one is how you write it down. If your answer is three, put three. Number two, if your answer is five, put five. Answer what they are, not what you wish it was. Answer what it is. Truth. And then at the end, um, we come into barn Sunday and discuss all your answers. If you want to talk about it. Then in three months from today, we take the same test. And you go back when you're done and compare your answers. Compare what you put for one to what you put for one today, what you put for one then, what you put for two, what you put for two. And see if you're growing or if you're going backwards, if you're just staying stale. But if you don't come to church, you won't grow. And you're not obeying God either. If you don't do the things God said to do, you're not obeying him. You can't call yourself a Christian when you don't obey him. Okay? You cannot do that. All right? So let's get to obeying the Lord. I expect to see the numbers raising up on the website that you guys are there taking the test man exam is for you again that's for you do you see how much we're here trying to really help you <laughs> amen thank those of you so much as helping us back anything you need for that's in the description on the video give your life to jesus and make him lord of your life all right i will be see you guys later tonight with the part two of revelation 12 and 13 I have to help my husband today. Okay? God bless you all. I love and care about you. And thank those of you for your comments, too, because that helps the channel. 
Thank you guys so much for helping Jesus' ministry. He started it. He teaches it. It's his. Thank you for helping us. God bless you.